No, you don't judge me. Cause if you did, baby, I did you too. Cause I got issues, but you got them too. So give them all to me, and I'll give mine to you. Bash in the glory. Hold all our problems. Cause we got the kind of love. Hi, baby, it's me, Stufania. Welcome back to my channel. So I saw this. Uh, floated liner video trending on YouTube and I say you know I tried it once but it never worked out on the same day I tried it twice it didn't work out so I say you know what I'm just gonna let let it stay and I try it the next time and today uh, I tried it and I think I did a good job like I absolutely love the look oh my god it been kind of hard for maneuver with the tape on my eye when I was see me I struggle but like I really did it I really did it. It looks uh, freaking amazing. Oh my god. So I do have a review on this so wig. So if you guys want to see that, if you guys want to know about the wig, I will leave the link down in the description box. So let's get right into the video if you guys really want to see how I came about with this look. So let's get right into the video. So today I'll be using a mixture of the products from the Boxy Charm and the Ipsy bag. And I'm first gonna start out by priming my eyes with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. And I'm going to use this flat top brush from BH Cosmetics to blend that out. I'm now going to be setting the concealer with the black opal medium loose powder and this is a perfect example of what would happen if you do not set it. It will crease as you guys can see. So for this look I'll need a tape and this is to let me get that sharp line for this uh, <laughs> floated liner. I'm going to switch eyes because I realized I could not work from that eye. So using Colourpop Pressed Eyeshadow Top Notch, I'm going to be using this shade as my transition shade. And I'm going to be using this BH Cosmetics Fluffy Brush to blend that out. I'm now taking Colourpop Popular Demand Pressed Shadow and I'm just going to build up on that transition shade. I'm now taking Cloud9 and I'm just going to be using that as my crease color and I'm just building on this until I get my desired shade. I'm going to be taking the brush that I use for my transition shade to just fuse all the shadows together. I'm now going to be taking my Naked Cosmetics Urban Rustic Palette from my BoxyCharm box and I'm going to be using this orange shade as my lid color. Guys, when I tell you this palette is super pigmented, I absolutely love it. I needed a black shadow and none of these palettes had it so i had to go into my morphe 35w palette and pick up the black just to deepen the crease i'm now going to be using the santi liquid eyeliner and i'm just gonna create a wing and as you guys remember it's floated so it's gonna be above where the usual wing liner would be i actually struggled a bit as you guys can see <laughs> but i think it worked out well So just to get that defined wing liner, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer again in the shade Fawn and I'm just going to clean up the edge of this wing liner. So 
So moving on to the face, I'm going to be priming my face with the Philips Milk of Magnesia and this is the original. I forgot that I needed to put on my lashes so as you guys can see I went in and applied my lashes and I'm wearing Coca lashes in the style Stella. So the foundations for today is the Milani 2-in-1 foundation and concealer with the True Match foundation in the shade W9 and I'm just going to be moving through this uh, process quickly because I think this is repetitive like I do this in almost all my videos. So I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee. Phone kind of make me look a bit white now that I'm a little bit darker so I'm going to be highlighting with Toffee today. So I go under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead and my chin and my cupid's bow. And I'm going to be using the black opal to contour. I'm cream contouring today. I'm always backwards, so I'm actually blending out the con the contour before I blend out the concealer under my eye, which is highlighting. And guys, if you're working with cream, be sure to blend it out. So I'm taking my Pure Cosmetics Beauty Blender that I got in my Boxy Charm box and I'll be blending out my highlighter with this. Uh, it's, it's firmer than usual but I think I like this Beauty Blender. Then I'm going back in with my foundation brush just to blend out the edges. Guys, I'm, all, I'm not always singing but when I do, I'm crazy, okay? I'm crazy. <laughs> So I'm now taking the black opal medium loose powder in 400 and I mixed it with a little bit of the Sasha buttercup so I'm just going to be setting my concealer just now after which I will be setting my entire face with the black opal true color foundation powder and this brush is from a BH cosmetics brush set. So because I cream contoured today, I'll be setting that with the B8 Studio Pro Contour Palette. And for highlight, I'll be using the Face by Shana Amber Glow to highlight the high points of my cheek, my nose bridge and my cupid's bow. Guys, I absolutely love this product. So for blush today, I'll be using the BH Cosmetics Blush Neutral Palette and I'll be taking up this pink blush. So using this Pixi Eye Pen from my Ipsy bag, I'll be applying this on my waterline. Then I'll be using the Colourpop Pressed Eyeshadow Cloud 9 to smoke out my waterline. I'm using this NYX liquid liner and I'll be putting this in my inner tear duct. I totally forgot what shade this is but I'll definitely leave it in the description box. Another product for my Ipsy bag is this Super Hero Mascara which I'm going to be using for today. Guys, I always say this but I really really love this mascara. It's freaking amazing. And for my lips today, I'll be using the Colourpop Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Guess. And this completes the look for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Like, I struggled to do the tutorial but I absolutely had so much fun like do my makeup yo it's such a joy when I sit and just do my makeup like I really do enjoy doing my makeup oh, yeah. don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already like share comment follow me on all my social media snapchat Instagram Twitter all of those will be linked down in the description box and don't forget you guys if you want to check out the review on this so we go I will leave a link in the description box. All the products used will also be listed down in the description box. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Bye, babies. No, you don't judge me.
Cause if you did, baby, I hated you too. Cause I got issues. 